Recently, we've been doing some interviews for our upcoming AngularU conference in San Francisco, June 22nd to 25th, if I didn't mention that. Anyway, to do these interviews is a little tricky because when you're talking to someone who's remote, the getting, getting the voices synchronized is a real pain. And if you try to use some local program like Camtasia or Skype to record, you're going to run into synchronization problems. Google seems to have taken care of that for us using the YouTube live broadcasting feature. I'm going to demo that here. So let's get started. The first thing we do is we go to YouTube and we go to My Channels. My Channels is actually where you have, where we create the live Hangout and we record it. So what we do is we go to the Video Manager, you can see up here, we click on that. And you can see I've actually recorded, here's a, here's a Hangout with Ward Bell for three minutes, with Dan Walleen for five, five, almost six minutes. So we're going to create a new one. And the way we actually create a new Hangout is we go to Live Events, and I'm going to say I want a new Live Event couple things that are important. If you don't want to just immediately broadcast to the world, make sure you change this to private. Give it a title, like you can say, this is Peter Live with anyone. I like to make the title now. You can do the description later before you publish, but I'll just put description there. And of course you want tags like Angular JS or whatever so people can find it. And basically we're going to say start this now. So I simply say go live now and it's going to create a hangout for me. It says you will now enter a Google Plus hangout on air. Very nice. So I say yes. It's going to make it a little bigger than the particular window we're watching in. So let me shrink it and bring it down here. So this is actually my Google hangout. I have the group chat going but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to close the group chat. And I've got all the features we've grown to love with Hangouts. I can, I can brighten myself. I can focus myself. Spotlight. Not sure why I want that. Or go back to original. What I do to invite people is I simply grab the URL from the top, send that to them, and then they can join the broadcast with me. Well, I haven't actually started broadcasting yet. To do that, I have to say Start Broadcast. Hangout out will be broadcast on YouTube. I say OK. It'll go up to eight hours. But we don't really have to worry because we made it private. So now the Hangout is on air live and I can stop the broadcast. Well, I'm going to actually do that in the hopes that it finishes quickly and then I can show you actually how, how it actually recorded and what it did. So now when I come back to the video manager, actually this is coming back after a while, I can see the videos right here. This is Peter's Live with Anyhow. I guess that's what I called it. But like I said, you can still change it and it's still private. When I click Edit, it takes me to the same screen that I was on before. I can select a different thumbnail. I can play it. I can add a real description. And of course, this is where, if I wanted to, I could make it public. But in my case, I'm actually never going to make it public. The reason is, I'm going to come back to the Video Manager I'm going to right click here and I'm going to say download mp4 and then I'm going to take that into Adobe Premiere and I'm going to do all my editing as you can see here. I've added all kinds of fancy fancy editing. Putting bubbles there and logos and I didn't put those glasses on but he did that himself. So that's basically it. That's how we can create a live Google Hangout, record it, upload it and do interesting things with it.